Well. So I'm here with um, His Grace, Archbishop Pedipa from Ruard McClellan, and the newly ordained Bishop Paul Cario from the Diocese of St. Paul. So, Your Grace, Your Excellency, thank you very much for being here with us this weekend. Um, so we're just wondering, what have you thought of the event so far? Well, I mean, we just got here this afternoon. Uh, we, we, I was, anyway, we came just separately, we, we didn't come together, uh, but I was uh, greeted very warmly when I arrived. Uh, they showed us uh, to where we're staying, as uh, bishops were in one house, uh, mm. and uh, so we, we had a bit of time to, to meet with one another, and, and then a guy came out, and one of the things that I enjoy doing at events like this is going to the exhibit stand. Uh, so I went around the exhibitors tent and uh, met a number of people that I've met before and other people that I hadn't met before, uh, which is always Did you nice. See the swords? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, it was good. Do you see the exhibit with all the swords? And yeah, yeah, swords I saw that. What is that? That is, uh, uh, I forgot the name of it, Riven something or other. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a uh, it's a camp for young people. It uh, goes on every year, I think, somewhere around Calgary. Uh, and uh, I, I know some young people from my diocese who go to that, uh, very enthused by it. Okay. But I don't know a whole lot about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's actually in the Turner Valley, uh, west of us here, and it's called Arcathius. Oh. It's something that the uh, legionaries, um, Regnum Christi, um, uh, organize, organize and mm. put on every year. Well, I was going to uh, mention that you asked me, yeah, I thought it was very powerful. It was very, very moving. I was uh, impressed how the story of our Lord's passion uh, reaches uh, so deeply. And um, of course, it was told from the perspective of his mother, which uh, made it even more, um, more profound. So it was very, very moving. Yeah. So can either of you, I know you're doing catechesis tomorrow, you're saying Mass, you're actually saying, do you have any, for our listeners at home, we're debating whether or not they come, or do you have any, like, spoilers, or hints, previews? Well, I mean, uh, my uh, my talk is going to be on discipleship and discernment, uh, so I'm talking about trying to listen to God's call, and uh, respond to that uh, call of the Lord in our life, uh, not just in terms of a life choice, but in terms of everyday life, uh, what it is to, uh, to be a person of prayer, and to, uh, to try to respond to that in our lives. Yeah. Well, at Mass tomorrow, the Gospel is um, Jesus' parable about the um, wheat and the weeds, and our Lord letting them grow together until the harvest. And so I'm going to um, try and uh, open up that parable, and um, show that uh, it's very, very relevant to um, the new evangelization that's behind all of this. Do you want to Bishop Terrio, perhaps you could explain for our viewers about what exactly the new evangelization is? For those of who are for those like me, who've heard hundreds of definitions. Well, Paul VI, who was the uh, Pope back in 1975, who launched the whole um, evangelization movement, he said that um, Catholic evangelization is basically an ongoing um, movement of both heart and head, and that it's a day-by-day -day, uh, choosing of the goodness of Jesus. Um, that's basically what it is. It's a call to holiness. And um, so that's, that's pretty basic Christianity, isn't it? We're not reinventing the wheel. Well, uh, you know, I, I always, uh, whenever somebody comes out with a term like, that they add an adjective like new evangelization, I always say, well, if we're talking about a new evangelization, there must have been an old evangelization. And evangelization really goes back to the beginnings of the church uh, with the great commission that Jesus gave to the disciples to make disciples of all nations, uh, to teach them everything that Jesus taught us to do and to know that he's with us till the end of all time. And, uh, you know, we've seen in countries like Canada, uh, where an initial evangelization has already happened, uh, lots of people know about Jesus, they know his name, but maybe this hasn't gone very deeply in their lives. 
and so the new evangelization is trying to to re-evangelize, to, to bring about in, in, in our day uh, the bringing of the good news, uh, to share that with people, to make it alive for them. Uh, it's a challenge, I think, for the church, uh, for all of us who are followers of Jesus, to truly be evangelizers in our own day, in our own way, and uh, try to spread the good news and uh, help people to come to an awareness of who Jesus is and what that means for our life. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Bishop. All right. You're welcome.